I've never done this before in my life. Hey, you just follow your heart. Don't like, think stop. about it. Yeah, stop don't thinking about it. it. Oh, no, no, you, you, you overflipped. <laughs> See the eclipse. I already tried without anything and they just like blinded the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that just NDs like full? It pretty much works. You can see the. Whoa! <laughs> that works great. Nico, you're literally standing in my sun again. There's a moon eclipse. in the sun, baby. Yeah, and I'm trying to see it. Thank you. <laughs> if I stack it enough layers, it turns like blood red. Dude, it's insane. I've never actually tried to look at a necklace before. It's like the first time. I have it doubled over again, and now it's like super red. It's yeah. super cool. What's up, man? Use the MD filter. Does this work? Yeah, dude. It looks like red. Whoa. That's super cool. Yeah, you can, you can, you can, can kind of see it. Oh, wow! Fold it over one more time. Oh, damn. Yeah. Why is it red? <laughs> this is what everyone's freaking out about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the sun's passing for on the moon. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> Everything's backwards. You won't have any eclipse wishes? I wish you would subscribe to the Sam and Nico channel. <laughs> 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 Dude, I wish that the sun would pass in front of the moon. <laughs> Wait! Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, no, I don't want that. <laughs> That'd be bad. They can see it. Oh shit! Dude, what's your eclipse wish? Have the blood of a wolf. In me, to be part wolf. I know. Wow. You want, you want to go out into the street and clip it? Then imagine a fucking bird takes it from you, you'd be so pissed. And uh, I got us a snack, so it's, it's coming right now. Sweet. What'd you get? Pizza. <laughs> oh, cool. Sorry, I guess that's not that epic of a thing. They're like, we had pizza last night. Of course they did, and the night before that. They do it every day. They're pizza every day kind of guys. Look at this hair. Are yeah. This guy eats pizza all the time. I can eat pizza and I skateboard. Are you <laughs> can you? Can you? Can you? Hey man, alright, cool, let's go talk to you. Can you? What? Skateboard? Not really. Have you tried? Yeah. Here, I'm gonna go flip this outside, you ready? Let's do it. Can we look at this, by the way? Can we see how, how funny this is? Can you look at this, Nico? It's this guy trying to figure out our 36 inch pizza. Oh my god! Ready? No! <laughs> It's stuck now, I gotta go cook it. <laughs> <laughs> the wind, it's soft slide down. You want it? Yeah. You want it? <gasps> Good thing we got a big door. Dude. Uh, right here uh, on the floor is fine. Pizza. Okay. Right there. That's perfect. Right on the floor. <laughs> Thank you. All right, dude. By the way, I just want everyone to know, I never done it for a second that that, that guy would refer to us as dudes. I knew he was gonna do that. That was like the, the pizza delivery guy right out of Ninja Turtles the movie back in the day. <laughs> Wow. wow! That's like the size of a table. <laughs> yes. So Sam, I want you to look in this corner. Mm. There's okay, so there's obviously some perks to running a YouTube channel that revolves around tech, which is companies are like, hey guys, we have high tech stuff. We want you guys to test it out and use it and see if it is indeed good for the types of videos and content you make. Kind of in hopes that other people see this footage and learn something about it too. Maybe it's right for them as well. But in this box, there's something very special. This is one of the things I requested. Not just this microphone but both of these microphones. These are two E914 Sennheiser mics. There's a reason I got two. These are some very, very high quality condenser microphones. They're very versatile microphones. Anything from recording like a guitar, an acoustic guitar, to going out into nature and getting giant stereo field recordings of environments or spaces. So they can be used anywhere. And the reason I got two is so we can utilize that stereo effect. You take these two things, and point them outwards like that and get basically a, a sonic space and capture that for cool ambient sounds or environment noises, etc. You can bring them into a studio and instead of pointing them out like this, you can take them and point them like this at a single small object to get a stereo effect of something that's happening at, at this size as well. But Sam, I hate to break it to you, but these are not microphones, they're flashlights. I'm sorry, dude. It's oh wait, a flashlight. this is the flashlight they gave us. Hold on. <laughs> Actually, seriously though, this is, this is really my jam right now. Ooh. These are fancy. 
I like these a lot. These uh, microphones, they are condenser microphones, but they also have uh, these things called cardioid shapes, which basically inside the microphone, they listen to sounds and accept and reject sounds depending on which angle they're hitting it. Cardioids and super cardioids, the, the shape of the sound that they receive kind of bows outward from the front of them and kind of rejects sounds from the side and from the back a little bit. That's how the directional aspect of these work. We have two stereo mics pointing like this. We're obviously getting a lot of here, but as we start to widen them, you start to actually widen the stereo effect itself because you start capturing sounds that normally would be outside their natural range. So, easy example. You're recording an action scene, you want to get cool reloading sounds and you have your airsoft gun. What you can start doing is actually putting them in the middle like this, in like kind of what they call an XY configuration here. You start to get very, very different sonic effects depending on how you angle these microphones towards or away from your, your scene or object or whatever. So we'll see what happens. You're in a bit. Don't worry, it's a great bit. <laughs> I obsess about cleaning up while cooking because there's nothing better than finishing your meal and being done cooking with it and then like having a clean kitchen while you eat at the same time. Cleaning up after you eat is the worst part about eating. Amir always said that the coolest thing you can do while cooking is clean. So I got a little story for you guys. Tell me. About bacon. It's a bacon moment. I mean, when we first moved out to LA, we were super poor and we had just shot like a low budget monster movie. There's a like a wholesale place on the street called Smart and Final, and we go shopping there. And I really like bacon, and I can only really afford to get like the bacon ends, like just like the trimmings, where you get like a whole big pack for like four bucks. But they had these big, giant, like bulk packs of bacon that were like thirty dollars. It was like this huge, like vacuum wrapped like slab of bacon. And I told myself like, when I can buy this pack, this like giant pack of bacon for thirty bucks, I've made it. Like when I can spend this much money on bacon, I'm good. I've made it. And. The first time we ever bought one of those packs of bacon was when we shot our Epic Mealtime collaboration. What's up, nerds? So that marks the first time I achieved one of my made it check marks. It was with you guys when we bought that. That was an awful moment. Yeah. I said, when I can build my own PC that will play the newest games at at least 30 frames, then I made it. And I called you up on the phone when I was building that PC <laughs> and asked you what kind of PC I should build. And so you too were a part of my benchmark. Nice. We did it. Let's quit. We did it. We made it. All right, I'm out. Yeah, me too. So we were looking at the Eclipse through this ND gel. It worked pretty well. You could see a really cool little crescent shape. Yeah, it worked really well. But the thing is, I was reading online last night about everybody burning their eyeballs, and people were like, no, those ND filters aren't made for blocking IR or UV. You'd be getting blasted with UV light, and you don't even know it. And I was like, oh. <laughs> is it like a late offset blindness? Like ten years later, like you get stressed out and then like a, a crescent forms in your eye. Damn! <laughs> I should have watched that eclipse. <laughs> I did a little bit more research. From what I see, ND filters generally block everything across the spectrum. Not quite evenly, but you stack it, you know, a bunch of times, everything gets cut down. But I don't know. So I remember you showed me a plastic garbage bag. Yeah. That was black. Yep. And then you took your infrared camera and it was clear. Yeah, right through it. You see right through it. So let's find out if infrared light can shine through this thing. You have like your FLIR camera? Or? Yeah, it's the, it's the FLIR one. It's an infrared it's a, camera. There's near infrared, which is like what like security cameras and stuff are mm -hmm. that like see at nighttime. But this is like actual infrared, so this is like heat. So this is a plastic garbage bag. See a hot nick here. I'm gonna raise this black garbage bag. And I can still see a hot nick right <gasps> through the garbage bag. What? You can? Yeah, I can That's see so cool. you. How many fingers you're am I holding? You're holding up three fingers. Damn it. Hold the fingers. You're holding up four fingers. Now you're holding up two. Ooh. Dang! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Power of x-ray vision. Let's find out if we're all gonna go blind. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there's Nick. One layer. That's just one layer though, yeah. It's cutting it down. Let's do two. Can't see anything now. Can't see anything. Really? Yep. If I d even just double it up once, you're almost gone. Double up one more time? What well, if you double it once more? I mean, I already can't see him. Can't see him at all. Cool. So, I mean, it lets some infrared through, but it seems to transmit at about the same amount as regular light. Yeah, the visible light, yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling more confident about our irises not dying. I feel better than ever. Wait, what I do you feel? mean better than ever? I've just been, like, seeing weird things. Hey. Dude, 
dude, that was the longest drive of my life, <laughs> but it was worth it. Wait, how long, how long was the drive? 14 and a half hours. Mm -hmm. Load this up. On this card, I got some wacky looking footage here. I can't even talk right now. Well, yesterday, I, I left yesterday at noon. Stayed in Vegas for like six hours sleeping. Woke up this morning, drove straight back. Little old news at this point, but I went to see the eclipse. I didn't fly. I didn't stay in a hotel, some fancy thing. We drove there with no plan. It was really intense. I do have something to show for my efforts and my journey here. I'm not really sure how it turned out. I really, really, really want to see what's on this card. I don't have any, there's no promises here. I really don't know what I was capturing either because at a certain point when things started going down, I was just like, whatever. And like, I stopped worrying about filming and I just started like enjoying it. So we ended up going to Wyoming, to uh, Jackson, Wyoming. I decided to just film it with like everything stopped down. Uh, as much as I could with the variable ND because I was having serious like flaring issues for some reason. So it's gonna be very abstracted, I think, because I filmed some of these at like eight frames per second so they, like you can see the motion happening. Oh yeah, there you go, you can see it moving. So the thing is like the sun is moving more behind the moon than the moon is moving in front of the sun. So you can, oh, that's what, that's, you, you can see it rising a little bit there, you know? Do you have oh, here. Room? So then this is the type of flaring I'm talking about, you know? Oh, dude, that's sweet. Like, I noticed though, the this is the flaring I was talking about. So I took the ND off and just went full bright. And it gives, you can see, like normally when you aim the camera at the sun, you see like normal lens flares. But like, flares. yeah, you get these special eclipse flares <laughs> as it's happening. That's so cool. That's they're, cool. Like, they're like toenails. Um, and I, f I filmed this also at eight frames per second too, I think, so, is, so you can see stuff s <coughs> scooting by super fast. I hope you guys didn't burn the sensor on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we test I, hope, I hope we didn't too. So <laughs> here, this, this clip I think should, is probably worth just watching. Yeah, you can just, you can just see the whole thing happen right there. And that, so as you can see, so cool. you can see oh, how yes. bright it still is. I'm literally dancing. aiming the camera into the sun and the sky is black. That's how, mu how much I had to that's stop really down. Cool. Isn't that nuts? Wow. And there you go. Wow. And that's what happened. My brain <laughs> broke when this happened. And I was looking at the camera because the eclipse is happening. I look up and it's like, holy shit. And I look down at the camera and I see what I'm, I've been trained to see a, as, a, as a camera glitch. <laughs> and then my brain glitched out. Just hit some buttons on the camera while looking at it, and I started, kept filming the eclipse, <laughs> but my brain wasn't working anymore. And so the whole shot of the actual eclipse is out of focus, because <laughs> I'm just oh, like, because between what this, this whole, like this muscle memory. I mean, memory, that looks dope out of focus. And I, when I hit the camera, I like, I walk away without even checking the focus. I'm like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and I, I, later on, I realized like, wait, this is totally out, totally out of focus. And I'm like, oh man, I'm an idiot. And so I get the other side too, in focus. This stuff was pretty cool though. I think it's just like these bizarre flares, flaring artifacts that were happening. Let's cut those clips, 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 clips. 